How's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Biz. And today we are in Micro Center and we have $1,500 each to spend. We're both gonna be taking McAllister and Zach with us and we're gonna see just what we come up with. Yeah, we're gonna be building full gaming setups for $1,500. A big shout out to Micro Center for making this possible. They gave us the budgets and I really don't know why. They made it to where we could go around our local Micro Center, which we drove two hours to get to, to shop around and see some of the best PC parts that you can get in person. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna buy all the setup stuff here and we're gonna take it back to the office. Put the setup together and then just see what we got and you all can vote down below which one's your favorite but i think we should just not waste any more time and get some cards load them up and uh, buy a bunch of pc parts we were talking about it and to try to keep us a little bit separate so we're not running each other one of us will start off with the setup portion first and one with the computer but matt and i both agreed that the setup's gonna be worse like starting with the setup's weird because you don't really know what your budget is at that point so matt do you want heads or tails <laughs> i don't like this method but i'm gonna go heads all right he's doing heads so i got tails Okay, uh -huh. I actually works better than I thought. Hey, heads. I'm going PC first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I feel like I, I never the win these first. challenges. It's always me that, losing. That so. was, yeah. So I win the whole thing then. Oh, yeah, you win the whole thing. All right, let's go. But before we get into this challenge, we have to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, Micro Center, and some of the cool stuff they're running right now. They're currently running a new customer exclusive where if you go to your local Micro Center, you can get a free 256 gig SSD in store only. And they are opening up a new store in Indianapolis with two more stores coming by 2025. So there's gonna be a Micro Center closer to you sooner than you might think. They are also running a monitor madness sale where you can pick up some awesome high-end monitors or budget monitors at a great discount for the month of March. So definitely check the link down below to cash in on all these deals and big thanks again to micro center for sponsoring this video now let's get into the challenge shall we all right let's all get right, a we're card. doing we're doing uh, oh yeah we can all go get cards. We're get cards we're together right now and then we're gonna hate each other all right McAllister, let's go build a computer i feel like we have to go with like the 6650 xt probably and that's like 300 dollars of our budget right now i'm thinking for me it's gonna be a thousand dollars for the pc 500 for the setup micro center has some really good cpu deals by the way we're gonna go i5 12600k the price on that 233 they do offer bundle deals on like cpu and motherboards but i don't really know what the deal would be once i get one of the employees here i'll probably ask them but we'll look at some of the motherboard options that can actually go with the 12600K. Oh, we actually have B760 boards. I haven't seen one of those before. So I think I am leaning B660, go DDR4. It's about 150 bucks for this one. It's a full size board. I may even go for a cheaper CPU down the line, but I'm gonna get this one in the cart for now. And that one was 149. So we'll go Corsair Vengeance. Let's do that. Uh, let's find some. Yep. Yeah, Stosie Bros. Yeah, yeah, hey, how's it going? Do you care for a cord? Sure. That's fine. <laughs> What's up? So yeah, appreciate the yep. shout out, thank you. You might see Jackson around here somewhere. How famous do you feel on scale of one to 10? We're pretty famous. I, I like it. All right, so SSD, obviously gotta go with this inland drive. So this inland performance one terabyte gen four drive. Let's go ahead and put down the uh, H510 flow. Might as well. I'm trying to see the prices on these EVGA units. Oh, oh. He is wittily hitting the Gwitty. He, <laughs> he wittily is hitting the Gwitty right now. I'm probably just gonna grab that power spec. We're just gonna wing it with the power spec. So it might actually be under budget, I think. All right, so we're at 987 right now. So that gives me a good headroom. Yeah, I gotta find a liquid cooler though. I'm really gonna kill my setup budget here, the more I'm thinking about it. Or am I out of luck? Am I gonna have to swap a bunch of RGB? I might be changing my case up now I'm thinking about it. Cause this is getting expensive to the point where if I get these fan packs, it's probably gonna be the cost of me just paying a little bit extra for a case that has RGB already in it. Let's check, let's check the cases real quick. We're gonna go with the H5 Elite. We're gonna do that. And then we're going to grab that one NZXT tower cooler. Boom. I okay. guess I need to get somebody and get all my parts out and then we will go from there. Scurry, Matt, scurry. I'm almost wanting to start off like more budget. Oh my God, look what it is. It's our best friend's Red Dragon. Ooh, even better, red switches. Red switches, 40 bucks at 60%, 65%. Yep. All right, I think I'm I think I'm think feeling this. Okay. All right, so $45 for the Model O. It'll work. Make a match. I found the mouse mats. What kind of mouse mat are you gonna get? We found our mouse mat. <laughs> We're Genshin Impact gamers now. Red Dragon and RGB? It's 20 bucks. All right, um, head, headsets are over here, I think. They have a lot of heads. It's actually crazy how many like peripherals they have here. We could get the wire, aren't the 80s like the ones, those are the ones that we use. So I'm just like trying to be safe. But yeah, I still wish you could find the 60s because I, I I'd almost rather have those. Or if they had the 55s in black. I don't want to spend too long in this. So these are going to be, if this is right, HS80 USB RGB 80 bucks as opposed to 100, which I do know these are normally pretty expensive. All right, so we got 45 plus 34, about 200 bucks, right? Sure. 
I think it's about 200 bucks, give or take. Oh, I, I think the monitors might be over by them. I saw, this was the one that was like three, right? 165 hertz oh. curved for 159. That's it. I don't even need to look anymore. I love these monitors and it's curved. I'm gonna grab two for now. Okay. I'm alone in the public space and I'm scared. Send help. All right. So what I need out of here is a 12600K. Won't be the best bundle deal for that. I need the super secret bundle. Okay, $260 motherboard for 70 bucks. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that, all right. So it's 300 for these two now, right? Um, so right now I just had some Corsair Vengeance 3616 gigs. I don't know if you have any better deal for 70. If you want to do some RGB, I think the T-Force is the cheapest. Okay. And you want to do 32 gigs, right? 80 bucks, 32 gigs. We're just making moves now. I don't understand. <laughs> hey, you know what, just roll with it. Just roll with it. <laughs> All right. GPU, I was looking at 6650 XT. Um, Anything that's a little cheaper or... Is it cheating to use OpenBox? We allow, we're allowed OpenBox. Well, I don't think we said your name in the video. I'm Jack. He's Jack. All right, I got a 6750 open box for 315. Yeah, that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Storage, I was just gonna get like an inland uh, Gen 4 one terabyte. Let's switch to this. So we do, because you don't need the gold on this. I gotcha. We'll do bronze, do the white one. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we'll do the 5000 read Gen 4 for 77. I was gonna do the H510 full Elite in white. Because these guys, if you look at it, like. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, let's yeah, do that one. The gamers yeah. Like, they so love 216, we yeah. actually just built them the other day. He's gonna add everything up for me so we know exactly what we're working with. Dex is probably losing his mind right now. He's probably like... Okay, so we saw there was a 5600X with motherboard combo deal, like a B550. Yeah, pull it up. Okay. Okay, so 190, 190-198 is the total. Correct. Yeah, I'll do that if you guys have one. Yep. All right, then I think um, graphics are going a little crazy. You guys had an open box 3070 Ti. And I think I was thinking about getting some RAM or storage from here too. Oh, I see. Oh, it's 3396. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll just do that one. It's not even adding to the budget. Do like a really nice SSD. I think we still need the case, yeah. power supply. Here's that storage right around the corner here. I think I'll do the one of these just crucial 500 gig NVMEs. All right, so CP, GPU, motherboard, we're gonna need case and power supply. And then if we want any like RGB or liquid cooler. Is the 5600X, that does come with a cooler too, doesn't it, the Wraith? Okay. I should probably pick up the case out first just in case it has limitations. Well, I want micro ATX for sure. Right now we are at 1221. Okay, so I'll definitely get that case. Okay. Yeah, we can go look at the power supplies. I could always grab my AIO first. Oh, fans point. are over here. I wonder if they have, do they have Corsair fan packs here or not? Yeah, so we'd really have to go like something like Bits Power. I don't even know, is there a DRGB? I'm like, is that ARGB? Yeah, DRGB 5 volt 3 pin mm. header. And then if we got a liquid cooler, that'd be that'd be six fans, five fans, Yeah, which should be plenty. So let's see if we can find like a cheap, we just need an ARGB. We can't do Corsair, can't do an NZXT. This is this one's I'm pretty sure it would work. Yeah. Are the power supply is is that it them right there? Oh, 80 plus white. Stop. <laughs> what do you think about this? <laughs> An open box power spec power supply. This would like really help us out here. Like I need you to say yes. <laughs> say that it works. I could open it up. I don't know. I kinda think I want to risk it, Zach. Because I don't have to put anything back if I do this. Yeah. And then we never grabbed a cooler again, did we? Pretty confident this is ARGB because I know I've used it before. Yeah, it's ARGB. Okay, screw it. We'll go Cooler Master. So let's do keyboard mouse. So I've been a big fan of the GMMK2s. Okay. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. But yeah, it feels good. It's RGB. Yeah. White like the build. Let's go glorious. Cool. It's 120 on that. Yep. Cool. cool. Model D and that's how much? For 45. 45? Yep. You got it. 15 bucks, XL. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Yeah. With a white logo. Boom. Main gear. Main gear, yeah. Headset. I was gonna say, like, 10 bucks less than that's wired, isn't it? The yeah. uh, Nova. Yeah, so. Nova ones are wired. Yeah, let's try the Barracuda yeah, I mean, X. Never used I'm those before. 70, 70 bucks. 70 bucks, I'll take it. And they look fairly comfy, too. We really got white. this white theme going. Yeah. It's working. And we go grab that monitor. The monitor. High brightness, 1440, IPS. There's no... Nothing too weird with it. Closet. It's an LG panel. All right, yeah, as long as we can squeeze it, I'm down. Yeah, I'll, we'll check it all again. That works, 1480. Go Sweet. Over to the computer, craft it up, and see where we're at. Sounds good to me. The, the headphones are technically back up at 100, but I can okay. grab that sale tag and honor it. He's grabbing the sale tag. He's going to honor it. But that'll go down 30 bucks because cool. of that tag. Then so we're in. I'll be right below. We're right below. You just want to check out and see how Let's it goes? Let's do it. Let's just check out. Okay. But no, now we're going to check out, and then uh, we'll be back at the Toasty Bros HQ putting these setups together. All right, guys, we're back from Micro Center, and I'm going to tell you everything that I got. So I got a Ryzen 5 5600X cooled by the Cooler Master ML240L that is going inside of an Asus Prime B450A motherboard. We have G-Skill 16 gigs DDR4 3600 megahertz and dual channel, an Asus Tough RTX 3070 Ti, a crucial 500 gig NVMe SSD, a power spec 750 watt 80 plus bronze power supply, a Lian Li 205 mesh case, and then a Bits Power Air GB 
fan pack. Now, first up, I got the i5 12600K and paired that with an Asus Tough Z690 motherboard. It's also being cooled by an NZXT T120 white air cooler. I ended up going with 32 gigs of Team Group T-Force Delta DDR4 3200 megahertz RGB memory in white. We ended up getting that awesome deal on the AMD RX 6750 XT, which is a 12 gig card. It's the Red Devil edition. We also got an inland one terabyte Gen 4 SSD, the PowerSpec 650 watt white power supply with the white cables. And we put this PC inside the Deepcool CK560 case in white. All right, guys, just got back from Micro Center and here is the grand reveal of my setup. So I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of it. I mean, this is like something I'd use at home. I got my dual curved monitors we went with the 27s. We have the very nice HS 80s, which I've always loved, or the HS 60s. The PC, I think looks pretty good. It definitely, I think Matt's gonna have a little bit of an advantage here with the all white and really pretty color scheme. But hey, that 3070 Ti is definitely fitting in there well. And then obviously my kind of cheap peripherals, besides this, the Model O, very nice, but they definitely turned out really nice. So I think we should go ahead and actually see what this thing can do. Yeah. All right. So Jackson's playing on his setup right now, playing some Overwatch 2, pretty much ultra Dude, settings. Is, yeah, this is smooth. Yeah, 1080p ultra, no downscaling. And I'll, I will sh I will show the settings in just a second here to confirm. But first, I gotta I gotta die. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, um, we're just gonna show you guys uh, just a little bit of gameplay on the setup as a whole, and then we're gonna do some side-by-side -side benchmarks to show the performance of the PCs. But since Jackson has his dual monitor set up, for those at home, you can be, well, great at live streaming because you have that 3070 Ti and also the ability to see chat and stuff. I went with the single 1440p. Um, we're thinking the built-in benchmarks were just gonna run at 1080p, so we're even. Um, but for the most part, yeah, the setup is looking pretty nice. Yeah, the peripherals themselves are, uh, they're pretty nice. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna lie, if I could have gotten like one of the glory keyboards which you guys may or may not see in the video I was really debating that I just I didn't think I had the budget and truthfully I, I didn't really so I did have to go a little cheap like on the keyboard the mouse is really nice though um but yeah you know keyboards nice though it's red switches I can't complain too much I'm just used to these Iconix keyboards now I only know high quality no I died all right I'll show them the show them with the settings set, the sound there we go all right, so 165, field of view, max, frame rate, 300. We really could. You could just crank it and see what it does. Yeah, what happens? What even What even happens? And then we're on ultra with FSR 1.0. Just a little over 300, yeah. actually. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, no, they're going to kill me. I don't have any healers. Why would I have a healer? I don't know. You got defeated. Come on, let me show you my crib. Let me show you my setup right here. <laughs> All right, guys, here's what I put together with the help of uh, some lovely Micro Center employees. They're very useful, by the way. They really help you out. Yeah, I went with a single monitor setup. This right here is an Acer 1440p 170 hertz monitor. It's a pretty nice monitor. Only critique I have is the stand isn't great, but it is VESA, so you can mount it. But for the price, you really cannot complain. I think it was just a little over $200. I need to check my receipt here. Um, Mine. Where's the monitor? $249 for 27 inch IPS 170 Hertz uh, 1440p display. Not too shabby, pretty nice display. And uh, the colors are nice. So we got IPS really, really solid there. Now in terms of peripherals, I tried to match a theme here. I'm, the headset really didn't follow the theme fully. It kind of has like this light blue. It's like the, what's the name of this headset? It's the Logitech G435. G4035 um, has like a little purple to it. It's a nice lightweight headset, a little built-in microphone, which I guess is cool if the audio sounds decent, but that's the key does it sound decent and then in terms of my peripherals down here we went with the glorious brand glorious we have this glorious uh red switch keyboard which look it says ascend <laughs> ascend to the glorious race so here we go not too shabby red switches very premium board we got a metal back plate here very solid we also have the model d which is again a nice glorious product i mean look at this guy i kind of i kind of think i look like this guy kind of do a little bit he, he looks kinda... like uh like good mythical morning yeah <laughs> looks like Rhett. yeah so we have uh that right there and then a main gear mouse pad which has a little bit of white in it to add to the all white aesthetic and then my pc which once again we got a 6750 xt i5 12600k 32 gigs of ddr4 memory at 3200 megahertz a z690 motherboard one terabyte gen for drive and a 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. Power supply is just their basic in-house brand. Uh, no, Jackson and I both went with the power spec power supplies. And mine came with white cables that match the white theme. I said everything the white and I think it turned out pretty nice using that NZXT tower cooler. But yeah, looks good. Um, in terms of performance, we're gonna see what it's like. We're gonna go ahead and launch some Overwatch just like Jackson did, just run around, give my impression of the peripherals. And then what we're going to do is take the benchmarks from both of our setups, do a side-by-side -side comparison. We did Cyberpunk and Red 
Red Dead Redemption, two really demanding titles. We're gonna run a 1080p because, well, you know what? We're gonna run a 1080p because same resolution, even though I have a 1440p monitor. Try to get an equal playing field here. And then we'll compare those results and decide who ended up getting the best overall value setup. And you at home can decide which setup you think looks the best because that's all subjective, you know? We'll just see what you all think about that. Settings 1440p, Matt's only getting about eh, like 60 to 70 less FPS. So yeah, it's, crazy. it's definitely 1440p is, uh, you know, makes this a better experience. Oh God. Yeah, it definitely looks nice. It looks very sharp. I am only running 144 Hertz right now though, because the HDMI only supports 144, 1440. But yeah, the peripherals are really nice. I mean, the, these glorious peripherals feel very, very good. Um, this mouse pad is actually better than I thought it would be. I didn't expect a main gear mouse pad to be well, much of anything, but it actually works pretty well and fits the theme. Um, I'm using the speakers right now on the monitor, actually, not the headset, which not too bad, honestly. It's pretty uh, good addition to see when you get, um, oh God. Get out of here. Oh, you stuck me. Oh, oh. I still got them. They're actually going to have decent monitor speakers where you can actually, you know, listen to stuff while not wearing the headphones. Headphones are pretty nice, though. They're they're small. They're like they're like really small. But we'll do a mic <laughs> test later. I'll go and put these on real quick. Kids headphones. They're very, very lightweight. It's like the ultra lightweight of the headphone space. I don't really know, but uh, they, they're pretty nice. And yeah, I think overall the setup's pretty good. Um, I think with Jackson's setup, obviously if you want dual monitors, I mean, dual monitors is pretty awesome for live streaming. I think this is a good, just like straight on, you want the best gaming experience, 1440p high refresh rate, um, single monitor setup. But even then, like at some point I'd be like, I need another monitor. Cause in just general multitasking, having two monitors in my opinion is like night and day difference. Oh goodness gracious. Yeah, another kind of thing to touch on the dual monitors too is I know for an extra fifty dollars, um, like yeah. fifty to sixty, you you know you could basically have uh, my dual monitor setup. So if you really like Matt's performance and like the all white, then you know just spend an extra fifty bucks and then you got dual monitors. And the best part about this video is if you go to your local micro center, you'll find some crazy open box deal that we weren't even able to take advantage of. And also they may maybe running some in store promotions that uh, will make your setup even better if you do go to micro center. And I'm just saying, the time recording this video, they even had an RTX forty. 80, which are pretty much impossible to get and it was open box and it was under a thousand dollars if i remember oh, what correctly. a wasted old hey yep. woo! I say my old guaranteed kills but yeah that kind of worked out well actually performance pretty solid now what we're gonna go ahead and do since we've kind of gone over all our setups here is we're just gonna go ahead and switch to some built-in benchmarks where we're gonna test both of our pcs in cyberpunk and red dead redemption and uh just kind of recap the whole experience go to micro center i think it was a fun time and we came out with some pretty awesome computers all right, guys, you can see the benchmarks on screen side by side to really see how Matt versus Jackson's PC really went. And as you could tell, we both had kind of different tastes. I mean, I decided to go with dual monitors. He went with a nicer single. He went with like an all white theme. I kind of stuck with the black and RGB theme. So we definitely had two totally different mindsets for $1,500, but in our own ways, we both did pretty good. So yeah, if you want to go to Micro Center, you definitely should go to Micro Center and take advantage of all the deals they have in person. As you can see from our shopping experience, there was a lot of cool deals that you can only get going to your local Micro Center. So big thanks again to them for sponsoring this video and making it possible. Let us know in the comment section down below which setup and PC you like the most. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing more of these in the future if you guys like these. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye now, if you guys didn't know, besides our other YouTube channels and twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros, we also have Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. You name it, we got it. Social media accounts. We got mm -hmm. a lot of them. And TikTok's kind of freaky sometimes. So go over to our TikTok and check all those links down in the description below. See you guys later. Goodbye. And discord.gg slash Toasty Bros. Don't Whoa. forget that. Don't forget it. <laughs>